Toast and jam, toast and jam. We do it because we can toast and jam. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Toast and Jam. I'm Jeff Prince with Fort Worth Weekly. Today's special guests are Lake Simons and John Dyer. They're here at the <laughs> Hip Pocket Theater. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. How y'all doing? We're doing good. A little hot, Great. but, you know, it feels good. They're like the opposite of snowbirds. They're the only people that come, leave the Northeast and come to Texas for the summer. Yeah, we're crazy like that. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you come here in the summer? Tell them about it. Well, I come here because uh, we're here at the Hip Pocket Theater, and the Hip Pocket Theater is my second home. Or I might even actually call it my first home, and that Brooklyn is my second home. Sometimes it's the other way around. Um, but this is this very special place. It's been here for 42 years, um, created by my mother and father and a special friend of theirs, Douglas Ballantyne. And I come here every summer to get back to my roots and to make new theater work. Uh, it's a really incredible opportunity for, for us to test new work and just to be in a comfortable setting. Johnny and uh, Diane Simons created this in the 70s. And uh, Lake, I guess you grew up in probably one of the more interesting households around town. Uh, yeah, I could say that. <laughs> you're a mime and a puppeteer. and a, uh, They make the stages. They make the costumes. They write the plays. They act and uh, sing and dance in them. And, it's an incredible situation. If you've never been to Hip Pocket Theater, you really need to come. They're having the world premiere of the, tell them about the Loop to Loop that uh, is premiering for the first time in the world. Right here. <laughs> sure. Yeah, so this newest piece that John and I have made is called Loop the Loop. And um, it is, uh, here we are in Texas, but we've set our play on Coney Island in New York City. <laughs> so we're taking, bringing a little bit of that here um, and playing with the idea of the sort of heyday of this magnificent place and then the decay of this ma of a magnificent place. And um, it's going hand in hand with being inspired by the Hip Pocket Theater itself and also my mother and father. Um, the play is very much about my mom. She's been going through a lot with her life these days and she has dementia and she is now in a nursing home and it's been a very intense experience for my family and I decided to make a piece of art about it to help me move through it and it um, has been very useful, very emotional, very real experience. So um, that's basically what the play is. That um, creates the best art when you're really passionate, feeling, uh, yeah. feeling it to the core, it comes out in the art. It sure does and it really has. We've had some good response so far of the piece and John's utilizing some really incredible music for the show that has been very personal to him as well and finding new meaning from it by putting it into this setting. Um, now the, you do the writing and the, the acting and he does the composing? Yeah, and... well we create story together and um, but I basically take care of the visual element of it. Um, we generally don't use dialogue in our plays. Um, we are using dialogue in a sense in this one because John is, is singing and that is sort of our dialogue and, they, and he's use, utilizing text. And so he's creating this kind of beautiful atmosphere and um, um, visuals with his music. And then I'm accompanying that with um, doing puppetry and movement. And uh, we've got we've got carnival lights. We've got rides. We've all got right. all kinds of stuff going Since on. Since you're a mime artist, teach me a mime trick. Real a quick. mime trick? All right, let's see. What is a good mime trick? Well, <laughs> you both have guitars. I don't have a guitar, but maybe that's too something easy. Something besides, you know, that. <laughs> Give me something. Well, like that. How about, um, well, how about a guitar? If you just like hold, you got to hold onto the neck. Yeah. And you can't just be loose about it. You got to really like make sure that you got it in your hands. Yeah. And then you got it there. And you're gonna just make sure that you really are feeling that you're hitting those key, those those um, those strings. That's what they are. Those strings. That's good. I'm going Pete Town. I know. And then you can go. Then you can go all over the place with it. You can go wild. What are we gonna toast to? <laughs> well, I mean, there's so many wonderful things in life. I'd love to actually toast to my mom. I think that would be oh. the perfect thing to toast to. Um, but also, just in general, just Cheers. toasting to people that we miss. All right, here's yeah. the Diane Simons and other right. people that are we miss. And, uh, <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Come on out and see Loop the Loop. Please do. Well, uh, time for the song. What are we going to sing, John? Jeff, you... this is a tune by Lou Reed, and uh, it's called What Goes On. He was in the Velvet Underground in New York, and uh, he's one of my favorite songwriters. And we'll just take this number, this New York artist number, and, and porchify it. 
<laughs> Orchard pie, it is will be. Pie. New York and Texas. For you. <laughs> I'll throw some chicken picking in there for you. Please yes. do. <laughs> everybody come on out to the hip pocket theater this weekend or next weekend <laughs> Luke the Luke's gonna be out here for a while it's great you gotta see it thank you all for being here thank you Jeff y'all are a very talented couple come on out and let them prove it one minute one minute two one minute up and one minute down